Hi, I'm Justin, and today I'm going to show you how to put together a simple drill holder with storage for screws, bits, and batteries. Hope you enjoy. So I have these containers that I keep all my screws in. It's nice to be able to carry them around with a lock top and not worry about the boxes falling apart on you. And I wanted the drill holder to be able to store those. I have 12 of them in total, so I want to make sure it was big enough to store those as well as have a place to put the batteries and some separate drill bits. For each of my projects, I like to do a rough drawing first so I can calculate the different measurements needed and then have a visual representation of what I'm building. So after figuring out the depth needed for my drills to fit in the holder, I decided on about eight inches uh, for the depth of the cabinet. The overall height of the cabinet's about 27 inches and then the width is about two foot long to accommodate all of the screw holders I have. I first ripped down all of the, the shelving pieces down to eight inches and then I was able to cut them all to the correct length. After all the pieces were cut to the correct length, I was able to take it over to the router table and round over all the edges to give it more of a nice finished look. A little while back, I built a shelving unit to hold all of my paint cans and finishes, and it had rounded edges on the top, and I wanted this to look the same, so I threw a couple rounded edges on this as well. I then measured out the spacing for the shelves so that I could mark them on both sides and get them in the right spot. And it wouldn't be a shop project without a few pocket holes. After I had all the pocket holes done, it was time to assemble the shelf. I did use wood glue and screws to hold it all together. Just to make it strong, it would be strong enough with the, just the screws, but it never hurts to put a little wood glue on there, especially if you're not planning on taking it apart. For the drill hangers, I assembled these little T's that I could just glue and nail into place uh, depending on the proper position for each drill. To get the proper placing of the drills, I would just grab the drill, put it in between the two chucks and make sure that there was still some wiggle room, but it was secure enough to hold it. And then I would glue and nail the holder in place. And once it is all assembled, it is time to work on the mounting system. So I am going to be using a French cleat, which is just two boards with a 45 degree angle cut into them so that they seat together nicely and it has a strong, secure bond. This way I can move it around the shop if I need to and mount it on a different wall. I did put a eighth inch backer board on the shelving unit itself just because I like the way it looks and it's a little bit more clean and all put together. When hanging anything that's going to have a good amount of weight, I like to go with the French cleat system just because of how simple it is and it is a really secure connection. It can hold a lot of weight.
and once the shelf was up, I was able to fill it. So I was able to fit all of my screws, all of my bits, all of my drills, and all of my battery chargers all on this one shelf. It really cleared up my bench. Uh, I do have a problem with leaving tools all over the place. It takes up the surface of all my benches, and it's really nice having a place where I can put my drills, they have a nice place to go, and it'll incentivize me to actually put my tools away. If you like this video, I have a bunch more builds on my channel. I will be coming out with a lot more builds in the future. And if you want to see any of the stuff before it comes out on the channel, I am starting to build up my Instagram. So follow me at Justin underscore built. And uh, I hope you enjoy this project. <laughs> Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.